There's a lot of money on the line here at the International Tennis Centre where Brandon Adams is taking on Patrick Antonius on the court right behind us. So let's find out more about this huge prop bet from Brandon Adams. Brandon, tell me what's on the line today. Well, we have a big bet. Um, the bet materialized in October. We were playing uh, Poker After Dark, the Omaha game, and Patrick was just sort of talking BS and he mentioned that he would lay me 20 to 1 if I played him in tennis. And so I took him up on that immediately. And the conditions were that we play in Monaco on the red clay, okay. um, and we were to play in May. Right. So we we shifted the terms over the course of the next couple months, where we like increased the amount of the bet, and then we moved it from Monaco to Las Vegas, okay. and we moved it from red clay to indoor. Right. Um, and I think by December we had the terms pretty much laid out. And the bet was 295,000 on Patrick's side to 30,000 on my side. Nice. Okay. And then uh, we kicked up the bet in, in May, but really the way to think about the bet is it's 295 to 30. We added a little action, but it's a little complicated. It was sort of, basically today if I win, I get 355K to his 50K. But because that, that last part of the odds is a bit uh, complicated, the best way to think of it is he's laying me 10 to one. Okay. 295 to 30. Nice. So, so what's the story with the clay? Are you used to different playing indoors or outdoors and the terms and conditions, you know, yeah. really favoring well, one or the other? Um, in Europe, they play on red clay a lot. And in the US, there's almost no red clay. So if you don't play any red clay, you're at a big disadvantage to someone who plays a lot of it. And I've played no red clay. So this is better for you then? Yeah. So I was willing to take a worse price to play indoor. I've played hard courts most of my life, so this is really an ideal surface for me. Yeah, can you tell me about your background in tennis? Well, I was obsessed with the game from age 11 to 14, and I didn't get that far. I mean, I, I played a lot at those ages and got to a pretty high level, but um, I wasn't going to like be a tennis star or anything, so I, <laughs> I sort of quit and did other things, and uh, then I picked it up again in college and it sort of stayed with me as a lifelong sport. I've always played, um, I've probably averaged once a week in my uh, 20s and 30s. And in the past eight months, I've played every day. Oh, wow. So you've been training a lot for this then? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have um, you played with him before? Um, yeah, we played baseline games and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> we've never played a match before. So how are you feeling today? Have you any secret strategy today? <sighs> Well, I'm pretty nervous. I mean, there are going to be a lot of people here. I haven't played in front of an audience before. Um, and Patrick's good. I mean, he's, he's better than I thought he was. Like, when, he, when we started talking about the bet, I knew he was pretty good, but he's better than I thought. His game's sharp. Um, so I'm, I'm a little nervous about it, but uh, my strategy is a counterpunching strategy. Um, I have a pretty big game, like I, I can attack, but I think today I'm just going to lay low and uh, try not to miss and uh, make him put balls away. Have you spotted any weaknesses in his game? Well, both of us have injuries right now. I'm, my main problem today is going to be the left wrist and his main problem is going to be the arm and ankle. Um, but that'll be, uh, that'll be a little bit of an issue for both of us, I think. For me, I I think that if I get warm in the first set, I'll uh, I won't have any issues physically. Whereas I think he'll tend to grind down a little bit, like after hour two or so, if we can if we can push it that far. And you have officials and everything for today? Uh, yeah, we have a line judge. Um, let's see, we have one chair judge who's like the chairman of the Nevada Umpire Association. So very experienced guy. He does NCAA's and all of that. And then we have two baseline judges. Okay. Well, good luck. All right, thank you. Unfortunately for Adams, he could not beat the favorite this time around. He put up a good fight, but it wasn't quite enough to put the high stakes regular off his game. The Finn won in straight sets, six love, six one, to walk away with the hard earned Thanks for tuning in for this high stakes prop bed action right here on Car Player TV.